Hello and welcome to ET Garage. Today's video I'm going to uh, clear coat my transparent uh, target top and use this product. Okay, as I was saying, I'm going to uh, re-clear or clear coat my transparent target top off my 90 Corvette. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know about my 90 Corvette, I now got over a quarter million miles on it. I actually, and I have two tops. I got a solid top that I have uh, vinyl wrap on it, carbon fiber vinyl wrap. And I have the transparent one, which originally came with it. When I got this car, it had 163,000 miles and was basically a basket case. And this top was horrible looking. And I sanded it and uh, ended up sanding it down and clear coating it with a uh, 2K uh, clear, uh, two part clear. And uh, that held up real good. And then it started to bubble after so many years so i decided to just sand it off and polish it and that work that looks good especially from a distance but when you get up real close and i don't know if you can tell here but uh there's all sorts of scratches it scratches super easy and the reason is that this top when it originally came from the factory had a coating on it to prevent it from scratch uh, to help prevent scratches so uh i decided I am going to uh, re-clear it and uh, it's actually in some ways it's easier to re-clear it than it is to just sand, uh, polish it like if you were to wet sand it and like you know and work your way up to like 2000 grit and then uh, put a polish on it or a plastic polish it'll look good but it'll scratch real easy uh, if you re-clear it you sand it with six, like 600 grit sandpaper and then clear it with whatever product you're going to use in this case, I'm going to use this product I never used before. It's KBS Coatings Clear Diamond Finish High Performance Clear Rock Hard Non Yellowing. You can apply this directly to metal. It's impervious to oils and solvents, or most. Professional fan pattern spray head. And uh, they also sell this in like gallon and quart cans, and they sell uh, they sell it as a kit that you can use to uh, clear coat, recoat coat your. Uh, finish your headlights if you got those uh, faded plastic headlights so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it on this top this will be the first time using this product and uh, I am NOT a body and paint person I'll tell you that right now um, one thing uh, you have to do is remove this trim piece and uh, I'll go over and uh, show you the best way to do that all right, first thing I need to do is remove this trim piece here. Um, if it's the factory original one, it will be uh, made of metal, stainless steel, and it's very easy to dent. So whenever you knock it on or off, you wanna use like a piece of wood and a hammer and just hit, hit it against the edge, something soft, nothing too soft. You can use like a piece of plastic, like one of these uh, trim piece removal tools and it like that and put this and there you go this one came off real easy I got it then you go do the other side and then just work the piece off without breaking it that's all there is to that okay trim piece is off and next thing I'm gonna do is wax and tar remover for use before and after sanding. Now this has lots of um, detailing spray and wax on it and whatever else. And you wanna remove that before you sand, otherwise it just gums up your sandpaper. So uh, you get a rag and wipe this down. Okay, now it's time to sand it. And uh, when you sand it, you can do it by hand. You could use one of these rubber uh, sanding blocks and or you could use a uh, vibrator sander or better yet, one of those orbital sanders. I don't have one of those orbital sanders, but uh, you do, like I said, just use your hand and some sandpaper or one of the sanding blocks, one of these. Uh, and you wanna use 600 grit sandpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that done.
All right, I sanded it, and I can tell by sanding it that there's a, uh, still a lot of uh, wax and polish still on here, even though I wiped it down with the uh, wax and tar remover. So I sanded it, and I ended up doing it by hand. The reason I did that is uh, the auto parts store didn't have any 600 grit sandpaper in the big sheets, and I need the big sheets so I can cut it down into the small sheets to fit that palm sander that I have. So I'm stuck using this in the hand block, and quite frankly, this is pretty quick and easy to sand. So uh, it's not uh, real labor intensive. Uh, let me go wipe it down with that wax and tar remover again, and then I'll sand it again. And then we'll uh, get everything masked off and ready for paint. Okay, I went ahead, uh, sanded it, wiped it down with the uh, wax and tar remover, and then sanded it again, wiped it down again. I'm gonna go ahead and mask it off. And then after I mask it off, I'm going to put on uh, rubber gloves. And then wipe it down again with the wax and tar remover. The reason I wanted to do that is because I'm using my bare hands. And you're gonna end up getting skin oil on it, so. After I get done masking it off, I'll uh, put the rubber gloves on, wipe it down again, make sure I get any skin oil off it or anything else that uh, happened, and then it'll be time to spray. Okay, I got it ready for painting and uh, I got it masked off. I only masked off the sides where the paint could hit. It's the only thing I'm worried about. And uh, you should do this in a well ventilation area or outside. This is a water based product, which is good. But still, you should wear the appropriate mask and all that good stuff. I'm doing it in my basement, and that's because in my basement it's humidity controlled. And I got my circulating fan going, and I'm going to have an exhaust fan going here shortly. Uh, probably hear the fans I got going and the dehumidifier going already but uh, basically just follow the directions on whatever product you're using um, this should code up to 35 square feet surface prep says about surface prepping uh, clear clean dry surface if needed use KBS clean to remove all surface contaminants um, guessing that is a wax and tar remover product uh, and then it says, for best end results, apply diamond clear finish to a prepared surface as described above. Always wear protective gloves and eyewear when using diamond clear finish. Always use uh, the appropriate air supplied respirator for best results. Spray at room temperature 15 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Use only in moderate to dry atmospheric conditions. In other words, 70% humidity or lower. Shake hand for at least one minute. After listening for rattle or mixing ball during the application, shake intermittently for probably 10 seconds between coats. And it goes on to say uh, two to three uh, thin coats. And uh, well, it says for a marine or industrial application, apply two to three thin coats. It says you can apply, uh, th it says apply thin coats uh, rather than thick coats. That's true with most products so you don't get runs. And uh, it says you can just do one to two coats for normal application, but for marine, two to three. For a really high gloss finish, it recommends four passes. And uh, wait 10 to 15 minutes, then apply four more passes. Okay, so it does say to make sure this is fully cured between, you make sure that it's you know, dried at a touch between coats. So that's usually about 15 minutes from this well, depending on the product. Uh, I guess I'm going to rattle this up and uh, get paint, I guess.
Okay, I think I ended up putting maybe five or six coats on it, and uh, there might have been enough in here for one more coat, but I decided not to put it just in case it ran out midway. I also switched the tip. I had one of these uh, tips from the uh, Eastwood aerosol sprays, which has an adjustable spray pattern where you can either turn it, you know, 90 degrees and has a little bit better fanning than what came on this tip, even though it says it's a uh, professional fan pattern spray head. It isn't really that great in my opinion. It's not as good as the Eastwood's uh, spray nozzles. That makes a much better uh, pattern. This is pretty rough looking right now. It is definitely going to need to be cut and polished. Um, that we'll do in the next video. So just uh, check back and or subscribe, like, share, you know, leave comments in the comment section, all that good stuff. In the meantime, everybody have a great day and God bless.